There we go. Had to restart the game here. I got my, I'm, I'm just gonna jump on in. It's been four minutes. People that wanna come and show up will show up when they show up. A little late here today, so I apologize about that. That's because of uh, Lord Poopy Butt over here, Lord Romano the Chiefs. I'm actually going to shut off viewers. I don't want to see my viewers today. I'm just going to stream the fucking game. Not going to worry about the, 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 the viewer stuff. And we're going to just jump on it. Oops, got to do this. What's up, Sean? How are you, bro? Doing okay. Doing well. Um, so I'm, I jumped back in time to finish up. Uh, do some stuff for a video and uh, I did not switch back I'll look at chat I always look at chat I'm always here for you boys I gotta drink any water I'm gonna drink that too um, but yeah Roman had a, a, a little a little uh, lesson that went longer today so I apologize. Lore Master of Sotek raided me. Uses abnormally large penis to raid me. Guys, if there's one fact that I know about Lore Master of Sotek, it's that he has a huge dick. And this may or may not be because I let myself into his hotel room whilst he was sleeping when we did a Never Chosen. But dude, it is honestly like looking at a rhinoceros down. Oh, no sneak energy today? Boom, it's right here, baby. Boo-hoom. Dude, gotta say it, man. Sorry, Sotek, but people gotta know that you're working with a real serious hog down there. Shout out to my good friend. Shout or, uh, I gotta type it. Shout out to my good friend. Lore Master of Sotek. <laughs> What's wrong with you guys? It was the orgies for sure. Do those orgies... I, I posted on my... Sotek, do you follow me on Instagram? Follow me on Instagram. Because I posted up like a... Like a throwback Thursday. Like a TBT. And it was ever chosen. And like... Like almost all the pictures are you. <laughs> it's like you smiling into the camera. Like just picturesque. How are you doing, man? How was uh, Did you play? Were you playing Warhammer Three? I dude, I, I I say the same thing. I'm always like, oh yeah, I should probably like do it for my brand and all that stuff. But I just post up memes and me lifting. Like I, there, there's some things I have to not take seriously, right? <laughs> Which is like everything. Uh, did I show you? Oh, look at you! You crazy boy. Did I show you this? Take a look at this. Take a look at this. Uh, press this. Press this. Let me give you a picture of what I want to show you. That's uh, probably closer in War Hipster. I'll look at War Hipster. Hold on. It's a picture of something that I've painted, and you would like this. It's a picture of my feet. Here we go. It's not done yet. But it's getting there. Not done yet, but it's getting there. I added in some highlighting on the hair, on the hooves, but I gotta highlight the metal. I haven't done any of that yet. I was gonna highlight the black, but I don't think I'm gonna. Um, black Legion is such a good contrast paint that it naturally has really good highlighting in it. Um, so I'm just gonna highlight pretty much the metal, the, the horns here, and be done with it for the most part. Yeah, I uh, I got into I bought the Slates of Darkness box. So yeah, me too. I'm surprised they're not in both, if anything, because they quite literally look like Minotaurs. But it is 
Neither here nor there. Uh, I really want to get the Chaos Sword on Demonic Mount, because he looks so sick. He looks absolutely balls out bananas cool. Did you get your, uh, oh, god damn it. Did you get your new Seraphon yet? Or have, they, or have they just shown leaks? Not leaks, have they just shown teasers? Oh, Lieutenant General Armor. Battle Brothers. Enjoy. Come on, my, I'm slop shit today. I mean, to be fair, I haven't played yet, so. Not until, like, May? Ugh. That's like when they showed the, the Lumineth. You know, I wish I liked the Lumineth more. I think what bothers me is that the Lumineth have so few competitive models, and the, the models that are competitive, I don't really like. Like, it's just the Sentinels and the Wardens, that's what everyone uses. But I like the the Blade, basically the Blade Masters, I like the the Knights, and I'm, I think I'll go back to Lumineth when they release Tyrion's faction. That is what I want to see. I mean, like, because apparently he's going to be uh, the Fire Clan. What? <laughs> I can't remember. Like, there, there's River and Mountain is already out. Uh, but I can't remember. No, block it. Yes. Oh. It's my endless boners. Pretty sure they're going to reveal Cold One Riders soon because the old ones are now out of stock on the website. Can't buy them anymore. Ooh. River Mountain, Zenith, and Wind. Yeah, those are the ones that are out right now, right? It's the big battle of the Zenith lads. Yeah, yeah, and those are supposed to be like angelic elves, as I remember the old leak was, right? Outpost! What's up, dude? I'm not going to grind my face against this. Um... I'm pretty much going to give it an attempt, but then I want to jump back into the story. I, I We were here waiting for people to come in. kind of warms me up a little bit. Dude, I don't know, man. Like, the Slaves to Darkness range... Okay, I got I, I bought that box, so it comes with the new Chosen, the new Demon Prince, the new Ogroid Theradons. I bought a box of the new Warriors. I'm going to buy a box of the uh, the other stuff, but it's so they're so beautiful. All right, man. Thank you very much for the raid. Huge shout-out again to Loremaster of Sotek, guys. Humongous penis. Great guy. Shares my namesake. Please go and check out his YouTube channel as well as his Twitch. But later, my man. Come on. Ugh. That is not what I wanted. Mm. Come on, stop that shit. Mess that timing up, man. I'm all over the place right now. Yeah. I'll give it one more shot, but that really upset me. Abraham Lincoln or Lord Master so tech. Uh is Abraham Lincoln wearing pants? Because if he is. Uh, then Lord Master Sotek. If Abraham Lincoln is not wearing pants, then I want to get a glimpse of that hog. Um, so put me in, coach. I probably should have leveled up before I did this. I'm so stupid. God, dude. I turned the sound back up so you guys can have some little more. A little bit of more. Uh. The problem is, I'm just wasting all my spirit on really shitty dodges here. I looked at chat and it was regrettable.
he's got so much spirit. I gotta not do this anymore. I know I said I'm not gonna grind my face against this, but I feel like I gotta I gotta knock this uh, rust off. I'm in like a bit of a bad mood too, so I gotta I gotta I gotta shake my shit pussy here. And if you don't call it a shit pussy, what are you doing with your life? Ravenous Moose, thank you very much for subbing up with not a prime sub, with a real deal sub, dude. Thank you very much. An empathetic cast. I didn't see that, but thank you very much for that gifted sub, bro. Take this before I go real quick. Dude, please let it be that fucking dick pic. Oh, shit! Take the load! <laughs> thank you very much, Ryan, dude. Throwing out five community subs. Thank you, bro. Dude, see, this is what I mean. This is this is why the cumbersomely large penis of Loremaster of Sotek exists. <laughs> All right, man. Well, go enjoy your lunch. Go enjoy your lunch. Thank you for joining in. Thank you for rating. Really appreciate that, my man. Our modest fellowship expands. <laughs> Praise the sun. New subscriber arrives. No, come on. Aha! Thank you very much. I saw the subscriber out of this corner of my eye, but I don't know what's going on. And I really appreciate it. Thank you so much, man. Oh, are you followed up with another one of those? You son of a bitch. Drink your Kool-Aid, boy. Damn it. It's not gonna feel fun. Have you guys noticed that the 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 thing that like that regenerates health doesn't feel as good? I have not opened up the uh, the giveaway yet, so it won't really work. I actually might not even do it to be honest. Oh, I pressed the button, but fuck you. Ken giving out a community sub as well. Thank you very much, Ken. And Ember giving out a community sub. Thank you, guys. Yeah, I knew that would happen. I'm just going to jump back to going forward in the game. This is now making me mad. <laughs> it's, it's, not, <clears throat> it's not a bad boss. You just have to bring your morale up. And I haven't done that. And I... Oh, deliveries. That's right, I, I have a... Oh, I, let me see this fucking shit. This is the other armor for the Deluxe Edition. Because I sent me both editions. Oh, damn. Look at that Qinglong armor. I know Qinglong as Chongryong, who is the Korean translation of it. Damn, that's sick. Lush. Prepared my most luscious toast and now watching the stream. You beautiful man, you. Look at that. That is sick. Oof, that might that might take over the, the other armor I had on. What is this, Lieutenant General? That looks great. Dude, see, like, um, I do love, like, Chinese, this era of Chinese warfare and armor is really, really cool. Um, because it, it's kind of, as far as it, as it goes, um, where's my phone? Oh. Warring. Uh, what the hell am I trying to type in? Um, fall of Han Dynasty. Praise the sub. End of the Han Dynasty ended in 220. 
CE. 189 to 220. I couldn't think of that. So, oh man. Sly Sparky, thank you for hanging out, handing out two community subs, man. Extremely nice of you. Thank you, brother. We're at level three hype train with 76% in. So at this point in history, and I know you guys did not sign up to watch a fucking history thing uh, for a game like this. But at this point in history, this the, the Roman Empire is still alive, right? The Roman Empire and the Western Roman Empire still got 200 plus years, 300 plus years under its belt until it falls. And at that, at that point, uh, around the crisis of the third century is when you start to get Roman armor that matches more with the Eastern Roman armor, the, the, the Byzantine armor style, which is actually more chain mail. Um, the Lorica Segmentata, the, the, the plate armor that you see, the, the articulated plate armor of the Roman Empire that is probably more prolific for Roman legionnaires is really only prevalent in the first and second centuries AD. It, it falls off because it's such a high cost to produce and they needed a high production, um, good, reliable armor. So you start to get the armor that, that, that inhabits later, uh, Roman third century reformation armor. In the fall, like the end of the Han dynasty, the the Han and Qin and stuff like that, around that kind of pushing from BCE into CE, you actually have a lot of really good armor in Lamellar. Lamellar is a really, really strong, great armor that doesn't really get a lot of press, quote unquote. Doesn't really, it's not used as prevalently in the West until the Middle Ages, but in the East, it's almost predominantly what they use because Lamellar armor is typically. In this case, this is lamellar with um, overlapping scales, like that, right? But lamellar armor, uh, as, as it evolves, tends to become a padded surcoat with rivets that hold each plate together against that surcoat, so you get an extra layer of slashing protection in there. And lamellar armor is extremely... Um, yeah, lamellar is amazing armor, because on top of it, because Ken just said Mythbusters proved that it to be virtually arrow-proof, on top of it, if you took an arrow in lamellar it would hit that plate and it would disperse it wouldn't just it wouldn't disperse the energy out in the same way that it would for plate armor but if i broke it off or pulled it out whatever it was whatever happens in plate armor or chain mail stuff like that the more arrows you take and deflect and shit the the less useful the armor lamellar and scale does suffer from that but the way that it would work is the blacksmith would come on the the on campaign and they would have stacks of these things, stacks of the individual plates. After the battle, you'd go up to the, the blacksmith, he'd take your suit, replace those things, and put it right back into your hands. So it was a really cool high turnaround, very high quality, but also extremely well polished looking armor. And there is a specific type of lamellar armor that um, uh, a certain, it's called mountain armor. And it has a really special, really high quality, very like impregnable pattern that is like super good and super cool. Like there's a lot of really cool shit that has been used and done with lamellar armor over the years. And Japanese samurai armor is a holdover from lamellar armor from China. Because right, you, you have that kind of evolution and, and you have the northern portions of Japan, which is actually, um, um, I don't want to say Slavic because that's not the term, but... Proto-Russians inhabit the northern portion of Japan, and they come down and as like the 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 Chinese colonists again, not the word I want to stick with, but I'm just saying it in the in the in the span of the moment. Um, they kind of they kind of mesh, fight, intermarry all these things, and, and create a, a different uh, quote unquote ethnicity. But early samurai armor borrows from that same mechanic of lamellar that was so prevalent in China. And it's one that was that that is then just kind of evolves throughout the rest of its uh, lifetime. A loyal devotee. <sighs> Sun Tzu. We know that we were matching watching impromptu history is the best. <laughs> Richie D, what up, bro, bro? Yeah, we'll try this armor out. Uh, is my how's my? I mean, actually, I can wear this whole thing. I think actually, I do. Okay, I like the chin long helmet. But I do like this helmet a little bit more. I, I think we all can agree with that, right? Because I don't. There's no. There's no set bonus for this, so might as well kind of rock, roll, shake my pussy at it. I was using. So these were light. Hmm. 
what was the bonus here for... So this is what I was using. Let's take a look real quick. I want to see what that is. That's what I was using. That was just giving me normal attack spirit Jane gain. <laughs> spirit Jane. Miss you too, dude. How you doing, man? You all, you all good? Uh, yeah, that's a... Yeah, is this, if this is your first time on my channel, Dumble Dude, you're probably not used to the fact that I do random history rants. That's sweet armor. That helmet, though, is sweet. All right, we're going to get this guy. Yes, I'm very much into history. I've actually thought about trying to use my YouTube channel to leverage for a honorary... Uh, Um, an honorary, uh, not a doctorate, but an honorary history or something. Because a lot of people do that. It's kind of like, I, I know I don't have the official thing, but I, I've got like a career's worth of experience now. Can I, can I get that? Um, oh yeah, baby. Yeah, Twitch is a pretty new thing for us. So thanks for joining in, man. I love the sound effects, like of the weapons like slashing into each other. Oh, I dodged into that. Oof. Go over the edge. You're useless. Sometimes you just need a good history rant to kind of get your mojo back. done with my people. Oof, I need to take all that. Oh What I do kind of like about this game is you can be a little more... Ooh! Not that bold. You can be a little more... Bold with your, like, okay, I'm going to start doing a combo right here, right now. So, you really... Like, you can't do that in Dark Souls, man. Like, that is a fool's errand if you do that. Like, oh yeah, you want to throw... You want to throw three fucking hits and see what happens to you. Holy shit! Come on, use your, po use, your, use your apple juice. Yeah, use that apple juice, bro. Take it.
Come on. Get it. Get it. Bold moved. I, I fucked myself up. I did that to myself. I did that to myself. I was like, I, as soon as I pressed uh, triangle, I was like, or uh, square, I was like, this was too much. Yeah, I was like, fuck it, I'll try to get his armor right now. IEMs? What are IEMs? Good, me any, any good recommend... Any good history book recommendations? Um... in-ear monitors. I do not actually use those. I, I have a I have Google Pixel Pro buds, whatever the fuck. Should we... Should I just jump forward, guys? Do you guys want me to just leap forward in the game? Back to where we were, or should I completely... Should I finish this guy off? Um... Let me look at my wish list. Wish list. Oh, that is... Uh, I have a book wish list, I thought. Here you go. I mean, if you want to use your brain, you should read. Now that you're an adult, you should reread stuff like Meditations or reread The Rights of Man. Uh, you'll you'll frame it. You'll, you, the Rights of Man. The Rights of Man by Thomas Paine. I, it's a, it's, that should just be in, in PDF form now. Let me get the, uh, being an answer to Mr. Burke's attack on the French Revolution. So there is a specific, there is a, a line in here that you will read in the first two pages of Rights of Pain, or uh, Rights of Pain, Rights of, Rights of Pain, a graphic novel about porn. Um, Um, Rights of Man by Thomas Paine, which is written in 1792, right? So this is, this is after the, um, uh, the Revolutionary War, right? And an important time in history here is like, this is, um, four or five years after the French Revolution. And the French Revolution comes on the heels of the American Revolution because the, the authors of both revolution were writing back and forth to each other about the way that, that humans should be governed in a sense that they should not be governed. They should be uh, left to the social contract and left to their own devices. And you can't have that conversation now. People can't have that conversation now because they think that that's a conversation between left and right, where it's at the time of the creation of, of the French Revolution and the, and the American Revolution was not a conversation. We weren't talking about bipartisanism. They were talking about how does man govern themselves freely and fairly. And um, let me give you, th this is probably one of the most pertinent points of rights of man, and it's in the first two pages. Uh, About if I do generation. It's basically saying that no no generation should be beholden to the laws of the previous generation. Let me see if I can find it. It's, it's swear to God, it's like right here. Only fan channels the rights of pain. That'd be great. Oh, well, I've already beat the boss. Empathetic. We're going back. Anyone got any good spam recipes? Uh, but yeah, I mean, like, I would read that. I'd read that book. Also, uh, the Crusades by Thomas Ashbridge is a really good, Asbridge is a really good one. 
I can't, I'm really upset I can't find this. Power producing the aggregate of natural rights and perfection. You know, it, it's always like, it's so weird to read like old like 17, 1800 stuff, right? Because it's all written in very like foppish dandy kind of style. Yeah, I wish I could find this. I'm sorry, guys. Kind of hyped it up for nothing. But basically, he was saying that like the laws of now should not go, the laws of then should not govern the laws of now as every, every generation basically has its own, its own things to overcome. And, um, it, it's like the, the whole adage of, well, our founding fathers didn't, it's like, if your founding fathers heard you say our founding fathers, they'd shoot you. Like, they would not appreciate that stance because their whole stance was your, our, like our laws are not, um, a subject of the time they're a subject of the people. I have 12 camp. Dude, spam is fucking romantic. Uh, you take spam with a little bit of butter and a little bit of, uh, Avocado oil. I like avocado oil. You can use. I, I use. What's it called? Other other pretenses. I'm a big fan of that of this defensive thing. Oh, dude, get fucked out of midair. I don't care about you. Damn, I fucked that timing up. I, it pisses me up when I jump the timing on something. Some antsies in my pantsies. Not that time though, bitch. Where? Thanks for thanks for following, man. YouTube burglar. Oh, didn't expect that, did you? I deflected it after I did my cool martial arts. <sighs> Absolutely. My, my pleasure, man. Talking about history is a deep passion of mine. I did not do that. The, uh, the giveaway is not... Presently up yet, man. I apologize. Ah, fucking dumbass, Ryan. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, I just stay right in the middle of it too. Flee! God damn, I went too early. Shut up a bitch. Use it. Use your Kool-Aid. I keep jumping the gun on my dodges. Not that time, though. Oh, it feels so good, so sexy. Oh. Uh oh. Oh, I didn't think I was gonna make that. I didn't think that was gonna happen, though.
The giveaway is not currently active. So if you are typing in exclamation point WO, it shan't do anything right now. I didn't think that actually catch me. Okay, we're gonna we're just gonna jump forward. I'm sorry, guys. I'm, no, I'm, I'm being really poopy about heads today. <sighs> Proceed. Um. Nope. 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 Close entry is complete. Take away. Nope. Close entries. Cancel. Yes, cancel. Fucking thing. Edit. There we go. Start giveaway. Okay. The giveaway's up now. I cancel it like 40 fucking times. Good old, good old spam is amazing. Yeah, I guess. Ken. I didn't really kind of like the response, to be honest. It seems like they didn't actually feed him his, his breakfast. It seems like it was, uh... It seems like it was kind of, like, divvied out. I, I don't know. It, it it just didn't... It didn't sit too well with me, but... She was saying, like, it. he's definitely way different with you than he is with me or other trainers because he's clearly using, like, you're his coping mechanism. So, he's he's very well behaved right now. And so she was saying we need to just kind of break away his structure. His day can't, it can't just be the same every day. And she's like, I think that'll, that'll kind of change things up here. And I'm like, okay. God damn it. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to waste the, the health potions right now. Instead, I'm just going to die like an idiot, like a fucking idiot. <sighs> Alright, I, I am done with this guy. Like I said, I'm in a frustrated mood today. I'm sorry, guys. I'm frustrated about the, the trainer and the situation. Um... Yeah, like, and that's, that's the thing that, like, bothers me is, like... I just tried not to build anxiety into my dog and I ended up like doing it being too good at what I was doing to the point that like, yeah, we need to remove structure. So she's like, you need to just go on walks with him, put him on a 50 foot leash and let him just walk around, let him sniff, let him do what he wants. And it's not that I wasn't doing that. It's that I wasn't really creating circumstances for that to happen or exist. And so he never really got a chance to just be a dog, be a puppy. Oops, wrong thing. If you guys are watching on YouTube, please do jump on over to Twitch. I don't know what our current Twitch viewers are at right now, but it would help me out a ton. Yeah, 100%. Like, I didn't expect it to be great. I just was like, man, I... I and I know that... Uh, I know that the breed itself has, like, a little bit of anxiety to it, right? Like, that's, that's just the way that... Um, these guys... Are. Are. Dude, this this new suit of armor is pretty sick. I'm not gonna lie to you. I should probably. I'm gonna sell some stuff really quick. I think I've got quite a few. Ooh, a clot. I'm gonna go with another point of here for for deflect consum consumption rate because that's that was kind of hurt me in that fight. I, I really I don't like metal very much. <laughs> I, I, in wizard wizardry in general, I don't really kind of go hard in the paint on in these games. Just kind of the way I play. Okay. 
Can I mark multiple things? Remove all checks. Okay, well, I don't want to do that. You're a wizard's party. General Man Greaves. Oh, why was I not using these? I was using the other ones for a fucking video. God damn it, man. These these marquee halberds are fucking awesome. Now, now I want to go back and beat the crap out of that guy cuz I wasn't using my cool weapon. I mean, two more damage, but still. Huh. How does this work? Yeah, this would have been a great ability. And another reason why I'm terrible at games and you should not watch my YouTube videos. Well, I can't just jump right. I have to go back through the whole level. I don't really want to do that. What's up, Carolina Jet? Well, I don't think I jumped back to that. I don't. I have to restart that whole level, right? Look how sick my guy is. I'm barely into the game. Look how fucking cool I look. Looking like a nerd. <laughs> you know what? I want to see something. This is worth testing for me. So, I didn't do a new background. I want to see how this works. Because we jumped back to our frontmost thing here because we hadn't completed the boss. So, I'm wondering if I jump back to the end here or, or the beginning. If I jump back to the end, I'll do it. If it's the beginning, I'll end, 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 put to do these. Interesting. I don't know why that happens like that. Yeah, we beat the tiger quite a few times. Imagine a guy missing a bunch of swipes in front of you and you're like, what's wrong with this guy that <laughs> just clubs you in the face? Just 
Totally forgot about these, man. Oh, come on. I deflected. Dude, Ivana's been going hard in the paint on this game. She was saying, like, yeah, <laughs> I've got, like, ten hours played. Just yesterday, I was like, dude, you badass. <sighs> well, okay, all right, we'll just do this. See what happens. I'm sorry, guys. Like, I'm sorry I'm, like, playing through content we've already done a bunch of times. <laughs> She's at a 39? What a fucking machine! Hopefully it's not a spoiler for anyone who wants to play the game on their own too. They're like, oh yeah, well at least I get to watch him and not fucking get spoiled. Oh, dude, the double plunge? See, it's such a these these weapons are sick. It's pretty close. Right, foolish. Really? It'd be cool if there was like a morale multiplier. Like, okay, you have gotten you've gone X amount of time without taking a hit against your morale so you're getting more morale but it'll cause like a certain like depreciation like okay you're getting more and more and more and more and more and more and more oh but now you got hit now you're gonna take a huge penalty someone said something about the review for the the Keyboard and mouse, what, what were you saying? Honestly, I have no idea how keyboard and mouse plays, but like I said, dude, like... Uh, you can buy a cheap-ass Xbox X controller for like 30 bucks. Oh, that'd be cool, Ken. Ha ha! Gotcha, bitch. Yeah, dude. Honestly, uh, if a wolf, I prefer mouse and mouse and keyboard. But I think for a game like this, I don't, because my reaction times on on mouse and keyboard are so different in this style of game. Um. Yeah, I mean, have you seen the? Have you ever seen the Scuff Gaming Controller Darkness? I've got those on the back, and my triggers have little things on them, so you can see the the travel time for this. That is it. That's the trigger. Uh, Benji, you know what? Uh, P uh, definitely. M M uh, M M M. It's not challenging because this is the very first. Mi mission that I've went back to do because I'm going to go do the boss. The game is a different kind of challenge than your typical Souls Barn. If you want to wait for a bit, we're about to hit a boss and you'll see me not be so cool. <laughs> but yeah, this this is I'm super over overpowered for this location. No, no, absolutely, dude. Like, if I saw this game too, I'd be like, this doesn't seem so hard, but... I mean... It's definitely more of a fast-paced, like, heavy-hitting uh, Souls clone. Do the thing. Oh, I'm out of stuff. Like, right now, I'm all fucked up. Have you ever played a Neo title? MMM? Like that. Because Neo tiles are a little bit are way faster paced than than all the from software games. And they feel kind of like, oh, this is a little bit easier. But their boss battles are are not harder than from software games. They're different, a different level of challenge. 
Also, heads up, guys, if you are watching on YouTube, please do switch over to Twitch and get my Twitch partnership. Oh, dude, you're going to love this. You're going to love this game. It's Think Dynasty Warriors, but like from software level of like dark. Got a raise control to extra budget just because I like those spawning items. You know, I, uh... I, I really wish I was... I was I wish I was good at the uh, the buttons in the back. I never I never use them. I think a lot of people would rebind them to be like because it's supposed to be basically like you could use you could hit like a a controller button that's that's a little bit like you have to kind of reach to get you break your shit. I Man, I can really kind of stomach this guy, can I? Damn. Oh, taste my pain with the marquee double halberds, bro. No. Oops, oops, oops. Oh, come on. Um. So anyone who's not... Oh, fuck. I, I couldn't even see that thing going on. Oh, my God. Um. If anyone who's actually fought with weapons... You probably know... How, like, devastating it is to fight with two weapons. Because pretty much everything you do is a... It, it's hard, because you have to be ambidextrous. But everything you do is pretty much like a kill hit. It's like a kill shot. Misha, thank you for resubbing. Subscribe for 10 months, because she's Misha. Oh, Christ. Uh, I see a bunch of chat. I, I can't process it right now. Let's give me a sec. Oh, come on, you butt fucker. Cool it. I always fuck that one up. I thought with the halberd to be a, like a shoe, and I'm sorry, guys. Uh, you know I can do anything around with the mouse and walk around at the same time. With the control, your right thumb is really moving the camera or pushing the buttons. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I personally, I, I'm really big on mouse and keyboard. I don't think controller is the way to go. But like I said, specifically in this style of game, my reaction time on a mouse and keyboard is a different style of reaction time for this game that a controller benefits from, in my opinion. Like. I don't. I've never played Call of Duty on stream, but I'm cracked. Like, just give me an SMG and a, and a fast moving perk, and I'm just all over the place, high, like twitching everywhere. But it's it's so like point and click, point and click, point and click, point and click. It's not timing related, which I feel is just such a different 
experience uh, when it comes to a controller for a game like this. I can't. <clears throat> I play Hell at Loose and have to play infantry with controller and tanks with mouse and keyboard. Interesting. Fuck this guy. I just want to. Just want to play the game. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Because we're doing a shorter stream today. It's gonna be me just fucking playing through that one boss over and over and over. It's gonna make me mad. If you are watching on YouTube, jump on over to Twitch. There's no way we're gonna hit our 75 average for today, but that's okay. I'm just gonna play whatever I want. Go fuck yourself, Twitch partnership. You know what? I didn't put up the little gate here. I'm gonna see what Roman's doing. He's a saucy Sparty today. <laughs> yeah, man, it just kind of gets like... It gets exhausting to always kind of like have to constantly put your life on some sort of like rail, right? Like um, if we all make a secondary account <laughs> it, it's just like I do it with my dog I do it with my food, I do it with the gym, I do it with this, I do it with that. I'm a very regimented person and I think a lot of people think, like I've had exes that are like, oh you're so predictable. I'm like I actually just think I'm on a schedule like I just I do things like, if someone said, hey, do you want to go do this really cool, fun thing? I'm like, yes, absolutely, let's go do it. But by and large, I kind of stick to a routine. Because it's like I'm self-employed, I've got a dog, I've got all this stuff, you know? Um, more or less, yeah. What the fuck, man, come on. I mean, I, I I like my schedule. I I get I get solace in a routine because I don't have to think about those things. Like especially when it comes to uh, this guy looks like he's gonna eat my ass. Uh, especially when it comes to like food. Like, dude, I love food. I'm so indecisive with food, but my food is done for the week. I don't have to think about it. It's I go in, I go make that food, and I'm done. Just. Do either one of these offer more? Oh, 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 oh this is not going to be fun. Mm, you're going to be scary. Do the thing. Oh, you got you got you get back up up there. You go fire finger fuck yourself with that shit. I was fine, I was fine. So the fucking pots of doom came out of me. Oh, I burned to death. I was totally fine that I burned to death. But I avenged him. I 
I've I've spent time working at home before, so I was kind of used to it coming into it. But a lot of my like regimented uh, more dots, a lot of my reg regimented behavior comes from like okay, if I if I do that. Like if I do a routine, then I leave less margin for error in a given day. Because, okay, I wake up at 8, I, I do my morning stuff, and it like guarantees that I can do what I need to do with Roman. You son of the bitch. You son of the bitch. And then I can do my work. Yeah, they're definitely, like, moving causes a lot of hecticness for me, right? Because it's like, okay, we gotta... We gotta deal with all that. Like, the conform, like, moving and dealing with, like, ah! You son of a bitch, man. You're just an asshole. Like, that messes a routine up and stuff like that. It's like, oh, man, this is gonna be so hectic. For a new, a new bar job, it'll be all right. All right. Well, good luck. I say it's very helpful to have routines. Yeah, it, it def definitely does, man. Definitely, definitely does. Have a good one, beef panda. Where is my souls? Do I not get them back because that other guy killed me? Well, no, the the fire killed me. You are a beautiful human being. Thank you. <sighs> oh shit, Xiaoyun. IDK, what's up, man? Guys, if you are watching on YouTube, please do jump on over to Twitch. Make me a happy boy. Don't know where our viewers are at. I imagine like 55 something. Oh, look at this. Oh, look at this. Oh, look at this. I might save this giveaway for Sunday. Um, how many are here exclusively for the giveaway? Oh, yeah? Okay, okay, okay. It's the upper limit of your... Dude. Oof. I hit butt fuck. Xiao Yun, protect me. Use your Xiao Yun. George Foreman. To reduce the upper limit of your opponent's spirit gauge, try these actions. Oh, interesting. You know you're gonna die. Oh, that is so fucking cool. I gotta stay alert. You have like a a, a cunt hair of health left. Oh, that's not gonna be fun. That was really cool. Oh, dude, it's just gorilla pounding me. Okay, I guess it just hits me on that. God damn it. 
No! We were doing so well. <sighs> yeah, I'm gonna actually, I'm gonna change the stream name and remove the giveaway here, guys. Because we're not gonna be streaming for very long today. Um, there's only 15 of you in here. And I'll just, I'll do it later is what I'm saying. I'm not going to just um, end it forever. I'll just, I'll do it at another date. I hope you don't mind. If you are here for it, I will be doing it on Sunday. But part of me just says stream Total War on Sunday. I wonder if there's a way to check resistance of weapons. Like, aside from just like, oh, okay, he's really not taking much damage. Hi, Elf. We'll do Eltharian. I'll do my very first Eltharian. I'll do my very first legendary with Eltharian. Um, so we got these. Base attack goes up here, huh? D is my lowest. Let's take a look. No, unfortunately not. A f a Nurgle? Would Nurgle be St. Patty's Day? A Dwarfs, I feel like, would be St. Patty's Day. Cup of Cordiality after increasing the pain points. What does Cup of Cordiality do? <laughs> Anyone know what the fuck this does? What the fuck am I doing with my life? Don't attack power? I do like that. Mm -mm 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 -mm. That's heavy and it puts me heavy, heavy boy. It's like, I don't know if that's good. Like, how do we know? What was that guy's name? Do, do we know what the hell that thing we just fought was? Battle summary. Not many of those. Not any of these. I'm fighting with everyone. <laughs> Let us go through the feasty cuffs. Juyan. I gotta not do that. I gotta stop doing that. Oh, I see what they're saying by spirit attacks. Okay, so you see the, the spirit gauge? By attacking with spirit attacks, I am essentially reducing that cap, so it's easy to stagger. Sorry, Xiao Yun, you just got murked, dude. Ugh, that's not gonna be good. I want to do that big damage with the heavy, with the healy thingy. Show you now!
Ooh! What's happened, guys? The gamer girl has finally started to follow me. I've evolved. I've reached peak everything. Oh, fuck my butthole open. Yeah, yeah, that's not gonna be fun for anyone now. Hmm. Zhao Yun, you need to pick up the fucking slack. Mm, um, penis. I'm just ready for chores, so I'm going to freeze myself like Cartman. <laughs> Rock toughness. Reduces spirit damage received from enemy attacks and grants a single use effect that prevents your morale rank from decreasing. You are dealt a critical blow by an. Ooh, hot potato bananas. Quick bound. For a certain period of time, grants an ability to increase enemy's stone ailment accumulation. Okay, alright. Mighty shockwave. No. Oh. Anything fun for... F I, I have not found fire to be totally useful. I feel like you really need to go hard in the paint on it. Well, I found it to be useful if I was going like... Like, I'm looking for stuff that is like... Spirit Fervor. Grant, you into, grant your allies a positive effect that increases spirit gain when... Ooh! Let's help with force. Increases the amount of automatic recovery during low spirit. Ooh! You are gonna put it in my mouth? Set wizardry spells with this one. <sighs> yeah, I haven't done any kind of wizardry specializing stuff. Oh, uh, there's no giveaway anymore, Devin the Wanderer. We ended the uh, thing for the day, my bro. Hey guys, if you do have a uh, Prime membership, uh, Prime partner, Prime... Yep! There you go. Welcome to my channel. Have fun. Thanks for coming in. Uh, we're going to go ahead and shut everything down here. Hey! <laughs> no, son. Thanks for using it. Thanks for using your, your Prime membership on me, man. That's what I was talking about. <laughs> no, we just I decided to end it for the day. We're not doing a particularly long stream. So I didn't want to, like, go too hard in the paint on that. And I'll save the giveaway. But again, I don't think I'm going to... I don't know if I'll do this game again. It's the unfortunate thing about trying to get this Twitch partnership is I do have to kind of find games that uh, go for things that do give me good viewership. And I know that we're not going to hit a 75 average viewer today. So my potatoes are potatoes. Oops. Let's see how this works. I'm just going to use it right out the gate. Don't bother me. Kind of fancy. Oh, oh, tasteth my pain. Okay, that's just fucking rude. It, it, it's not that I'm getting punished, it's just that people don't watch me for these things just yet. I mean, like, dude. I'm not gonna lie, I wouldn't watch myself for, for this content. Not that I'm bad at it, but it, my dude, I watch Fighting Cowboy for this content. Come on, gotta get him, get him, get him, get him. Like I'm not, I'm not a name in this space. Ooh. Mm hmm good, 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 good. We'll waste that whole entire dragon potion. Oh, that's not gonna that's gonna be terrible. He's gonna throw me and everything. I think this game too is it's taking time to get some steam. I think it's gonna get some mm, steamy poo.
eat my dick. A lot of streamers are playing this game, but the butter can be spread only so far. Yeah, it's 100% it too, man. This game could be really good if it was a part of the Dynasty Warriors Empire series, like in fighting for land and against monsters. That could be pretty cool. Dropped your helmet, did ya? It's basically Dynasty Warriors meets Soulsborne. Dude, look at my fucking eye patch. Three Kingdom Souls, yeah, that's a pretty good way to put it. Oh, I see what you mean, J-Rago. Actually, when I did that Warhammer 3 stream week, I did it for three days in a row and I got average 100 viewers every day. In fact, I think if I stream more, it's better. Uh, if you do not know what a Qi Lin is, it's basically a uh, Qi Lin and Kirin from Japanese lore are pretty much the same. They're kind of like uh, uh, Asian unicorns. I guess the best way to compare it. Yes, this is by uh, Team Ninja. Chilin is Chilin is one of my favorite. Kirin and Chilin are one of my favorite like Eastern mythological creatures, along with Oni. What was that little face? What's that little thing doing there, huh? Oh, I pulled you. Over. I'm so sore. This is going to be so hard to come get you. But I'm coming. I'm coming. Gotta wait there. I'm coming. Ugh. Up. Going to sit, please. Thank you. Now I can pick you up. Oh, oh no. There he is. There he is. There he is. Who came back? Who came back from? <laughs> you just licked the roof of my mouth, you little gopher. The king is saying, do you have a preferred kingdom that you prefer? Um, Soon? Like Sun Jian? Uh, I do like Liu Bei. But soon has some of my favorite characters. Although, so, so does, uh... <sighs> so does Wei. Wei and Soon have my favorite characters. Let me summon this Divine Beast. After many Divine Beast Resonation, we'll summon a Divine... Uh, we've already done this, but I don't really understand it. Each Divine Beast provides... Different divine beast resonation can be. So, what's the difference between what's the difference between the two? Oh, this will power up you and your allies. Okay, that one's offensive. Yeah, Sun Jian is one of my favorites. Sun Tzu is another one of my favorites. Like I would do it as soon as I unlock Sun Tzu, I would always play with him. Uh, Cao Cao always kind of like always kind of he always kind of miffed me. He's like the same thing as um. Uh, who's the during the Warring States period of Japan and the uh, Sengoku Jidai, the um, Nobunaga, Nobunaga Oda, the like the Demon Prince King. He's always made like super evil, right? Like he's always like oh half possessed in like all those games and everything like that. Salsa kind of has the same thing. Um, I'm gonna go a little bit now here into. I think maybe we push our, push this. Actually, uh, let me look at. It's not Zhuge Liang. It is. Wave Fighter Two Axes. No, it's not. It's not this fucker. I hate this guy actually. 
Was he Wei? Uh, Wei Dynasty Warriors. I I lo I want to kind of play with uh, another Dynasty Warriors. I love my Dynasty Warriors bros. Oh, oh okay, okay. Uh, yeah, Zheng Liao. Zheng Liao is one of my favorite characters. He was always so strong. No, Dion Wei was kind of boring. <laughs> Uh, Zhang Liao, though, was like, someone could help me in the romance, but, um, but Zhang Liao was like super fucking, like, scary. You, like, the big fighters are Guan Yu, Liu Bu, Zhang Liao, uh, Yuan Chuao to like a different kind of level because Yuan Chuao was like more known for like being like a leader, right? Jing Liao and Dice Warriors too. Uh, Benji, ask away. Guys, if you're watching on YouTube, switch on over to Twitch. Make switch to Twitch. Oh, I was gonna use these my special gems. Lucian, that little weasel speed freak. I kind of just really enjoy fast characters. But I also love like characters in like heavy armor and stuff like that. So HP range spirit damage. Spirit sustainability. Okay. Yeah, that's better than one of those. Why is there no like compare button? As durable! Thank you very much, as durable Zect. I'm trying to think of that name. Your name is from something I can't remember. Hmm. It's not. It's not hitting me. It's not hitting me. <sighs> Thank you. M M M M M M M M. Lujun can can you eventually make a warhammer known as the hammer of weasels? So here's all the weapons in the game. Um, you have straight sabers, swords, curved sabers, glaives. Wow. Halberds, staves, staff. Great hammers. So this is a great wooden hammer here, right? Um, C minus. Uh, pole axes, spears, slashing spears, which would probably be more like a guandao, not a glaive. Uh, dual swords and dual sabers and dual halberds. Those are your weapons. What are the best though? So C minus, I mean, can I organize this though by description, special effects, sort? Okay, sort by type, by upgrade level, by attack power, by rarity, by date of obtention. Mm. Nope. I want to sort it by element. I'm sure what's his name has a factual life, probably has a badass video on it, you know what I mean? <laughs> okay, so just one level. No, 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 we're not Zhao Yun. Um, he's in, he's with us. With us in spirit. Um, I think fire or wood. What do you guys think? Fire or wood? I shall drink water in the meantime. One vote for wood.
Wood style OP. What it is. Dude, Fexture Life is probably one of my favorite YouTube channels. I I don't know if you guys care, but here's the channels I watch all the time. War Hipster for, for Warhammer painting. The Y Files for fun, like, kind of like, not necessarily conspiracy theory stuff, but it's like, hey, let's explore this one thing. And he, he delivers all the fun, cool conspiracy stuff up front and goes, hey, here's the debunking portion. Like, here's the portions that are probably 100% fake. Here's stuff we don't know about. And here's stuff that, like, we can't explain. Um, I also really like bedtime stories, which is the same principle, but just using really cool drawings. Sneak energy. I already drank my sneak energy for today, brother. I also watch Sam the Cooking Guy a lot, and I watch Not Another Cooking Show a lot. Those are my those are my channels. Hmm. What does this button do? Nothing. <sighs> you know the best thing is that wasn't even the boss this level. Oh, <laughs> my lady. Yeah, I do watch a ton of history channels too. I watch a lot of Kings and Generals, lots of Real Crusades history, lots of Sans Roman or whatever his name is. Um, a bunch of the uh, recreation ones, the uh, combat recreation and such, like um, Metatron and what's his name? He's he's an Australian dude. He's really fun. Oh. Your storehouse can be accessed via the blacksmith. It can be used to safely store your items. Items placed in the storehouse can be retrieved at will for items other than equipment you can carry up to. Oh, okay, 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 okay. By expanding coppers and materials. Heard ha Hardcore History is very good. I've not watched it though. Uh, sell, upgrade, sell, upgrade. Well, what's, how do I store things? I mean, should I upgrade this? I kind of want to. Doesn't require much. Yeah, I've heard it's a really good podcast. And I don't really watch podcasts. The milk a cook, you total war and go fuck him. <laughs> uh, this is increasing. Well, I do, it will do more damage because I have I have good fire. It's only gonna cost three. Can I upgrade armor? No, I don't have enough stats for that. Enough stuff for that. Accessories. I'm gonna upgrade these uh, dual mark quas hal halberds. Oh, so interesting. It's not gonna. It's not gonna upgrade their their um, quality. It's not gonna go from blue to purple. It's just gonna give it a plus one. Screw it. We're no longer doing a giveaway. Where yes, I have stopped the giveaway for today. I break items down though, because that'd be sweet. Wow, base attack count here is 46. Oops. 68. 68. So the stats on a blue and a purple, they don't matter. It just changes the special effects. Just like it did in, in Neo, right? Your weapon didn't do more damage, it just got more special effects. Giveaway is not happening anymore. Uh, it doesn't look like you can purchase anything with them right now. Yeah, you must be able to. Embedment, decorate, sal salvage must be it. Salvage must be it, Spice. What can I buy from you, milady? Bear call? Oh, gall. Increase the amount of spirit you gain, you obtain temporarily after use. Let's just really increase the speed of... Okay.
No giveaway. If the stream is skipping, just go ahead and uh, or refresh the stream. The stream. Tapestry, thank you very much, man. Giving out a uh, sweet community sub. Uh, Devin, it, it's because of the mouse and keyboard playability. I mean, let me be honest here. I think that there's... I don't know. I don't know. I, I just don't feel like like review bombing is always the way. Because the problem is people don't... Once that functionality comes to the game that they want, they don't go and rescind their, their review. And that's the problem. So if it's a small developer and you review bomb it, that developer's not going to support the game. Like, well, we're not making money back. We can't do it. Like, it's just my problem with review bombs. Is it worth it? And do you recommend playing it with a joystick? Um, I do recommend playing it with a uh, controller. And I do very, very, very much like it, Piper. But I love these style of games. Like... Uh, definitely think, vote with your money, you know what I mean? And, and, uh, make a, make, take a stand on, on stuff that you want and shit like that. But if the developer delivers, so do you, so do you, you know, like if you, if you got what you wanted, because that was, that's what, like, Hey, you know what? This, this game is in a terrible state and you got to fix this shit. And if you don't fix it, I'm not going to play the game and they fix it. It is on you to go back and fall through because they did. So I just don't, I think review bombing is, I think it is a good idea, but it's got a poor execution. Do you get Jet Li as a psychic in this game? Hero! Dude, that fucking movie, Rob. That movie still is, I remember getting that movie on, on DVD, you know, on digital visual disc, and playing and, and watching it to go to sleep for like, like the first semester of, of junior, of a uh, sophomore year of college, like, even though it came out way before that. Dude, I fucking loved that game. Uh, that movie. It was so beautiful. It was so beautiful. Like, the, the use of color in it. I just don't... I don't leave game reviews, period. I, I make a video about it, you know? Okay. If I had to say Hero, House of Flying Daggers, and Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon, like... the Oh, and the movie The Promise. If you guys have never seen that movie, you need to see that movie. Um, can I do anything with this? Uh, Master Sword. This is the digital deluxe armor. Um, do you, would you like to see the other two armors? I'm going to show them to you real quick. These are the pre-order armors. Here you go. There's the Baihu one. The White Tiger. And here is the other one for you, my dude. Thirteen Assassins is very good too. Does that help you out? And uh, and here again, here's the digital deluxe armor, just so you can see it. It's all medium armor, which is kind of nice. No, they don't come. The, those two armors are part of the pre-order, or if you purchase the game right now, I think. I think that's probably like pre-order plus like day one armor. This is the digital deluxe armor. The Ching Long armor. Which I kind of like. I think I like the most. And I have a different helmet called the Crouching Dragon helmet that I'm wearing because it looks fucking cool. This thing I think is probably arguably better, but... But, yeah, the promise is really fucking good too. The promise is kind of like watching a... Uh, I never saw Curse of the Golden Flower. What is, what is Come and See? What's it about? Um, the promise is great though. House of Flying Daggers is so sad, dude. Like, that ending... That, like, people are like, well, do we, that's so stupid, like, the, the, the seasons change. It's like, no, man, you're not getting it. The seasons don't change. They've been fighting for so long, the seasons change. It's why their swords are all fucked up and the seasons change. Like, that is what's sick about that scene. And it's so sad, dude. There's like, oh, there's fucking blood's everywhere on the snow. You're like, oh, fuck. 
A young Russian boy who joins the partisans in, the world, in World War II? Woof. Hey, Rob, I hope that that happens for us. So everybody in chat say hi to RCM Dog. Uh, like I've said before, he's my, my old boss from college and best friend of like 16, 17 years now at this point. One night, Rob and I went to... Uh, like he... This is before we lived together. Oh, I did not get that right. I remember like we went out and uh, we were hanging out. We were we both were passing out on the couch listening to the Fountain soundtrack where we had like fun pillow talk. <laughs> like I think that's one thing I miss about like college roommates is like those moments of pillow talk when you lived in the actual same room together. Like rather than... I, it, for me, after... Uh, um, sophomore year, I, I no longer had roommates in the room. Because it's my sophomore year, we had three to one room. I, that sounds fun, Ken. I like that. With Rector Hauer? Ooh, baby. It actually shot real bullets over his head. It's kid's head. Actually killed the cow. It's insanely real. Where is it on? It's on Prime? Oh no, uh, uh, okay, split seconds on Prime, okay, okay. What's Come and See on? What the fuck? Oh. Let me, let me get my special apple juice here. On YouTube? Okay, I will do such things. Tiger Seal, nice. Um... Rutger Hauer, where he was a blind swordsman. Can't remember the name. I tell him it's familiar. Something tells me something's crazy around here. Aha! Dude, Zhao Yun just up there fucking crouching tiger hidden dragon the shit out of that guy. Event Xenogenesis. Uh, I'm using a, a computer right now, I'd say. Def definitely use uh, that if you can. I've tried mouse and keyboard for three seconds and I did not like it. So I would definitely go with that route. Cool, 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 Ryan, cool. Oh! What? I ooh, do not like that. What? Again? Really? Man. That kind of shit my balls on. About Zhao Yun, do you mean um uh Red Cliff? Battle of Red Cliff? It's uh, one of my favorite movies. Dude, the Russian front. There's also, gen not Generation Kill, there's a... It's from the German perspective of op Operation Barbarossa. Stalingrad? It's a series, I thought. It's a, I'm thinking of a series. I remember Stalingrad. Stal Stalingrad's a movie. Where they're like... But that's from the Russian perspective on World War II, if I remember correctly. If I recall... Where was I going last time? Was it through here? Oh, it's German? Okay. Valkyrie with Tom Cruise, dude. I, I do. I love Valkyrie. You've obtained an item that has the ability to enhance the dragon's cure pot. Access your inventory from the character menu to use this item. Dragon vein crystals will increase the maximum. Oh, okay. <coughs> that's a drop. Or did I just miss it the first time around like an idiot? Um. Oh, it's from 1985. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. For sure, that's gonna be spicy, spicy sausage. Oh, there's a whole bunch of you, huh? Oh, then there's that guy. Oh, it's Zhao Yun. Zhao Yun, what are you doing here? What 
the hell am I doing? What do I do? Um... On another note, I will be making a secondary channel very soon called the Board Game Academy, in which case I just make single one-off videos teaching you how to play specific board games. Is this an idea you would want to watch? Would you want to see this? Tell me yay or nay. Oh, up top, up top, I forgot. Okay, I guess I... I oh, it's not... Okay, I see. Board. Not, oh. Yeah, tell. Answer Rob's question because he's going to help me with it. <laughs> Summon my beast. I somehow deflected that in the middle of it, that's wild. Sellers of Catan? I fucking hate Sellers of Catan. <laughs> I, okay, so... I also have an idea for a game. Um, that... The premise would be basically D and D light, extra light. And you're given a set of cards, and those cards are your your character card. And <clears throat> it would be purely a dice rolling game. Like okay, the archer has uh uh like a ranger, it's a as an elf ranger has like green um dice and the warrior's got red dice and the wizard's got blue dice and the rogue's got uh, uh black dice and the I don't know, the cleric's got yellow dice. And then there's monster die that are different too. And it would be procedural in the sense that you encounter certain things, certain things happen rather than having a set DM. But I, I just, my brain is, is, is there. It's like, it's got the concept of what it could be. I just need to actually develop like mechanics and stuff like that because if I could create like a small game like that, something that is super easily produced, made, and then go pitch it to like, not CMON, but to companies to have them buy it from me. Oh man, that would start a, a cool foray into like a, a, a side business of making board games. Yeah, I think I, I think dice builder games are really cool and really fun. And they, they think they remove, remove a lot of complexity. Ooh. I have I have the first edition, Rob. I don't know how the second edition is. Yeah, Rob and I bought um, the mini game for Game of Thrones, Song of Ice and Fire. I bought Baratheon. He bought uh, Night's Watch. So we're gonna be getting into that. And that, that might be something to, fun to cover too. <laughs> I'm gonna be real. You could just sit, create a channel where you just sit and talk and do nothing. I think most of us are here to chill with the minded, with like-minded individuals more than anything. I think the gameplay is there to get more people in, but your community seems pretty established. It is, it is, it is. I love the Game of Thrones board game. It is such a fucking fun, backstabby board game. The mini game um, we'll be playing on Sunday. Martian dice. My personal headcanon is that chickens rule the world and will defeat the Martian invasion. I have not even heard of that. I gotta take a look at that. Oh, this is a motherfucker. Fucking came a wrong neighborhood, bro. Get out of here, payaso. What I like about the mini game is it's like I love mini games, <clears throat> and I think mini, like, warfare is really fun. 
But, like, dude, like... I'm not gonna tell Rob, yo, dude, you gotta play Age of Sigmar or Warhammer 40k. For me, it's a 20-plus year investment. Like, I, I'm pot committed, dude. Like, I'm not gonna not play that game. But for Rob to pick up a box for... I mean, we both had Amazon points, so we both got our boxes for $50, $60 on Amazon. And it's an entire army. If he doesn't ever want to play competitive or play any other types of different units, <clears throat> it's done. It is absolutely done. That is all he needed to buy was... Just this box. This box comes with 22 Baratheon Wardens, 11 Stag Knights, 11 Sentinels, Stannis, Renly, Alistair Florent, Lady Shira Errol, and then a handful of other like attachment characters. It also comes with dice, like cool colored, like, oh, these are yellow dice with stags on them. Um, four moving trays, yeah, four movement trays, all of the, uh, a ruler, all the rule book, the card, all the cards, and then some like generic terrain. And this is, this was 110 if I didn't have any, like, discounts or anything like that. He's done. He doesn't have to do anything else. Yeah, the, the, the plastic on it is all colored. So this is all yellow. These miniatures are, are yellow colored. Which is sick. Like, it's done. And then I'm going to, we're going to paint ours. But painting those miniatures, okay, well, their armor is silver. Their cloaks are yellow. And some of them are green. And that's it. I'm waiting for Diablo 4. Meantime, just grinding on Dark Tide, making a new character sucker. Dude, I am going to play the balls of a Diablo 4. I already pre ordered the Ultimate Edition because I I've just done it forever. I've done it for lots of Blizzard games. Okay, so you did like a spicy pineapple! That's going to be another hard game to break into because I watch like Mr. Llama SC, um, a bunch of other like <clears throat> Diablo streamers that, are, that, that they are like pot committed with that. White Horse Servant Cav Armor. Oh! I didn't see what that other piece of Cav Armor was. It's just like Neo, dude. Like, Neo had such cool fucking armor and weapons. You guys remember that? God damn it. I hate this game. You're being very good. What is in your mouth? What is this? What is this? Is this a... Is this a twig? Where did you get a twig? That's another thing I'm doing, Ken, is I've taken the little gate away so that he can just kind of wander around the, uh, the, uh, the, the bed, the apartment. Oh, he's not, he, he's not a destructive puppy. He's not going to go chew things up he shouldn't. He's just going to kind of wander around and get kind of, oh, you lick at my neck. I'm just going to kind of chill. Oh, this is it, J. Frederick. Oh, that went flat. That went flat. oh, sorry. Sorry, buddy. Sorry, buddy. I couldn't go that far down. The open beta is the 17th, so not this weekend coming, but the next weekend after. And then the launch is June 6th. 6 6 23. Let's go over here first. Prodster! Thank you very much for subbing up with Prime, my man. Oh, is this a shortcut? Looks like a shorty poo. Oh, baby. So what does this do again? It heals you, that's right. I, I, I knew it said it gave you health, but I couldn't remember to what extent. I'm actually going to go back and replenish my health pots before we jump in over here. Definitely has, Rob. It's a lot easier now. It, it definitely is... 
There is a banner just a headmaster sword, but I don't want to fight that big thing with just with all these um, points and with just one pot, where I'm not I'm not going to know its attack pattern. The pacing in the game, Rob, though, is kind of like wild for me. It's it's. I jumped the gun too much on my dodges. Well, I know, but I might die before I get to that one. Is why I master sword. There's a there's a big level twenty boss there, and I don't have the uh, stuff for it. Uh, go back to Earth. Is that what we do? Do we go another point to Earth here? Do I go water? What do you guys think? I'm gonna pee real quick. I'll be right back. Oh, it's just before the boss. Well, consider me an idiot. <laughs> Whoops. You should make YouTube videos on this. <laughs> Be right back, guys. By you needing to pee, I would say go water. <laughs> you guys expect me hydrate all the time, goddammit, that's why. More launch codes. Say more wood? I can go another point to wood. Fucking can hydrate, goddammit. I wonder what like the good baseline. Um You know, I, I feel like that's why I really like watching Fextra or Fighting Cowboy. They always find those breakpoints quickly where they're like, yeah, you know what? <clears throat> Invest like 15 points into wood and, and stay there. That's that's where your breakpoint is for your, your hit points unless you want to make a wood build. I really like it, Prof. I really, really like it. Um, how does this feel in comparison to Neo? Um, yeah, you can respec for free. Once you get to the village, you respec for free. Um, it is different than Neo, similar fast pace, but what I like about it is it's uh, you play a more aggressive game. The point of this game is to get your deflects going, and I think I like, I think I like the subject matter a little bit more because it's not as played out. Not that I don't like Japanese samurais and shit, right? But like, I feel like I've played a million samurai games, and I feel like I I never really get to play games of the Romance of Three Kingdoms. My timing's really sloppy right now. There we go. General of Man Banana. Because you do deflects in this game, and it's how you deflect like a lot of stuff, and it gives you morale, and the morale like superficially grants you like 
an increased bit of damage, which is kind of fun. I shan't use my offer pot. Wow, a lot of them came down, huh? The Revenant Graves? What are the Revenant Graves again? Uh, it's been a long time since I played in Neo, so I need the refresher. So that was me deflecting a crit shot. Which I should have just gone into a value train there, but I did not. Summon enemies to fight for the red graves. Oh, that's right. I used to just like farm certain spots to get like the tool, the dual uh, katana, katanas. Because they were so fucking good. Okay, where, where, I don't see a banner flag before this guy. I just see this guy right here. Master Sword. <laughs> I feel like this is, it's right beyond him. Yeah, the dual katanas were so good. Kind of why I guess I like to duel whatever the fuck you know. Okay, let's go. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. <sighs> let's just see how this goes. Oh, it's one of these guys. I remember these guys. Oh, I took that in the face. Use it. You play a you play a custom character. I forgot about the divine beast. I should have fucking summoned that thing. So what's the difference between divine beast and divine beast restoration? Divine beast restoration just buffs me versus the other one does damage offensively. Do I find that anywhere in specific? Okay, multiple stone pillars. When your morale rank is 10 or above, cannot be neutralized by five enemies. Okay. So I'm going to apply stone damage to your weapon. <clears throat> okay, I gotta that go up again. To apply stone damage to your weapon, decrease HP damage taken, and increase automatic spirit recovery. Cannot be neutralized by five phases of affinity. Okay. <clears throat> I feel like I want the buff over the damage. Ah, what is that? What do those oaths do? What does that? What does that bond do? I wonder. That's right, take this! Ha ha!
toothpaste. The back of my balls. Bronze halberd. Okay. I haven't used the halberd yet. Let's see what that's like. Equipment. We've used dual halberds, obviously, but not just a halberd. Okay, so this has got more focus on uh, the stone. I like this. A little bit slower. It's really sick, though. I do. I love. I love like how they took like a really cool martial arts approach with a lot of this. Ooh, I like that that stab. Yeah, the hammer is probably the, my least favorite weapon that I've used. Every weapon I like at one point. So fam, save some fam. Oh, I forgot about him in here. Dual Hallies. No, the martial arts are a little underwhelming because I think that the problem I, I have with them is that you almost always have to use them when the enemy is not expecting it until I can get really, um, really good with the timing of them. But it doesn't interrupt, so that it kind of it kind of gets you caught in the caught in the cock. I think next time I'll go uh, wizardry spells and wizardry. Um, would I think maybe we go with like uh, what's this? Increase the accumulation of the divine beast gauge for a period of time. Spirit fervor grants you and your allies a positive effect that increases spirit gain when attacking. I kind of like that. This one is increases automatic recovery during low spirit and increases automatic depletion during high spirit, which I do like that. What is this one? Lightning weapon for a certain period of time enhanced. Barbed conductor grows branches in the ground. Lightning Rash? I know this is Rush. Oh, reduces damage. I was taking that. Okay. I do like... <clears throat> that, I kind of like that. Earth Phase Weapons. It's, we're not at Stone Weapon rank stuff yet. Rock Toughness reduces spirit damage received from enemies' attacks and grants a single use effect that prevents your morale from decreasing. That could be pretty useful. Just down the elm. We're not at 12 sword though yet. So now I'm kind of understanding how important spirit is, right? Reduces consumption of spirit when deflecting. That's particularly pretty goddamn good. Lightning bolt. Absorb vitality kind of sucks. Has anyone else tried this one? I find that I find that it does not it doesn't do kind of what I want it to do. I kind of like this though, that this kind of like saves my uh, what's it called? My morale from dropping. A new subscriber. Ken gave out a community sub. Thank you, man. Can you have been so generous today, brother? Yeah, go up by rarity. Let's see that.
A dizzy flute. Can I compare? Why can't I compare? Description. We'll compare in here, huh? Belt hook. Defense one. Great defense. Ken's a great guy. For sure he is, man. Yeah, I know. I, I guess I kind of want to just see the special effects, really, Master Sword. That's the thing I want to get an idea for. Because this thing, by and large, doesn't do a ton of difference for me. But I want to see what the special effects difference is. And I have to kind of, I'll have to go back and look. Okay, okay, this is stone attack power and morale gain points. Okay, uh, positive effect duration, negative effect duration on enemies, enemy status effect. HP, morale, bring, yep, this is this is it. Got a ton of new item armor here. This is all heavy, and I don't really want to jump into heavy. Sort by rarity, okay. White horse servant cab helm. Damn, I think it looks pretty cool. What is this look? What is that armor? That looks pretty cool too. No one else around me. The sun is shining, and I want as much armor bank to cheer Ricky on in week two weeks. Oh man, two weeks? That's when it is. That's when the the finals are? Yeah, I, it, most most of the other Souls games have that, and I wish this one did. You fear pulse quickening? Uh... Hmm, I don't know what's going to go on here. Oh! I've heard the, the divine spirit ends one of these fights in one one go. Oh shit! Oh. Getting pretty hot in these rhinos. Oh, please do. Please do. I love breakfast sandwiches, man. Guys, if you're watching on YouTube, please do jump on over to Twitch. I don't know how many views we got on Twitch. I'm trying not to look at it. I'm trying to... I, I, I can block out the viewers thing. Um, yeah, it looks, good, looks good right now. <laughs> so I've done that to kind of not let me get frustrated. Feng Shi. Oh, Feng Shi just fucked me up. Again. And I didn't... I have not done a damn thing. Ooh, ooh. Get away, get away. Do it, do it. Oh, I can't. I'm too full on my stuffy. Oh, that tail's gonna fuck me up. I know it. I've done a dumb thing. I've done a dumb thing. Drink that apple juice. Drink that apple juice, baby. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and do. Okay. Oh! Drink your apple juice. I need something that, that mitigates spirit generation whenever I use this wizardry, because that's really fucking me up. Oh, I thought I only had one hit left. I'm dumb. Hmm. 
No. Happy juice. That was rough. Your boy Puma just got killed in one fucking try, baby. Woo! One shot at Pumba. Oh my god, what? what? One try, why are you? Carnit test tonight, boys! <clears throat> Oops, Zhao Yun. They call him Mr. Pig. Who brought the eggs because we got the bacon? <laughs> Dude, that, yeah. Rob, you wanna go to uh... Wanna get breakfast on Sunday? I wanna get... I wanna go to uh... Our fucking spot, what's it called? Uh, a Gura Deli, Gura Deli. Yeah, after all this breakfast talk, right? Just put some bacon on my plate and be like, oh, ma'am, you have the following rewards. Yellow turban. Okay, 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 okay. Ma'am, uh, I reckon I'll be having extra bacon here today. Would you make an extra? If you don't, when you order bacon at a restaurant, guys, I don't know if you do this, but you need to say extra crispy. You need to say extra crispy. Thank you very much for for jumping in, Master Sword. I know this is probably your first stream, and I'm, I'm glad you, hopefully you had a good time. Blasphemous? Really? Is this Sao Sao? Wait, what do you mean gross? Like, it, it, they don't make it... They don't make it so that it's like, oh my god, it's like bark. But... Oven, oven baked bacon is the best. But usually extra, extra chewy... Um, I'm sorry, extra crispy... Or just crispy in general. Oh, Zhang Fei. Wait, is this Liu Bei and Zhang Fei? Is, am I gonna? Is Guan Yu coming in here too? Look at all this fucking. Sick, this is sick. It's usually just like a step above, like flimsy, 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 where it's like it still has that kind of like mushy mush in the in the fat. Dude, Guan coming in. I kind of like how they use their, uh, uh, not, what's their names? Like their, like Kong Ming is their, is their. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> they cool it. Not casual name, it's a certain name for it. Dude, you you cannot play this game in English. It's it's so flat in English. Oh, dude, Guan Yu to resist me. So what does it mean to get their their things up? Courtesy name. Thank you, Devin. There's that to the max. Comparing the different ways, like whey protein. You know who I also really liked? Who is like a Japanese Guan Yu? Um, Tadakatsu Honda? Uh, Honda. is from the Honda clan. A new battlefield is now available. Oh, so it's... Oh! So part two has multiple valleys? Okay, so we did this one. No, we did this one, because it shows us the bottom. Ah. 
Toyota? Am I, I mean, Toyota's a clan. Honda Tarakatsu, thank you very much, Beef. I wish I knew Japanese, dude. I think, like, I, I wish I, I knew Japanese and Russian. If I could have any superpower, it would be able to speak any language in perfect dialect. Okay, let's do, you know what? So, effects of duration is in between and the spirit consumer wizardry spell. I'm gonna put a point, a point into this. Yeah, you know, I like Russian. I like, uh, I think Russian is really, uh, like I like a lot of Slavic languages. Russian, Polish, Ukrainian. Um, <clears throat> Uncle from another world, yeah, I'm mean, basically. <clears throat> I know just like, I know just enough to like greet someone, like, <clears throat> like greet someone in Russian. Because my old strength coach was Russian. Privia Kikdela, like, I I love that, like, like Privyet versus uh, Srotvutsia. Bratan, Brat. How, when I first, when he first saw me, when he first, Bratan, Kikdela, I was like, did you say cock dealer to me? You know, I do wish I knew Italian, but because I've been around Italian and Spanish so much of my life, it's not, it's not like unique and different to me. Like I live in Southern California. Rob speaks fluent Spanish. I know just enough Spanish that I can understand what you're saying. Um, a lot of my family speaks Italian. They say they're like almost the same fucking languages. But like Japanese to me sounds so cool. Like I love like Horiko Sodora Horodonozo. I think if I I think if I went to learn Italian, I'd pick it up very quickly. But the problem is I don't have and not not that I would have a means to speak Japanese or Russian, but I don't have a means to speak Italian readily enough to once I learned it, I wouldn't have a way to really kind of uh, when you've had alongside warriors and use a cup of cordiality, you form an alliance with them. Your oath level will increase. If your oath level increases above five or above, the performance that warrior who shares alliance with you will improve while you're fighting alongside. Ten, the warrior will become your sworn brother and you will give it a copy of their favorite equipment? What? 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 That is sick. <clears throat> Dude, that is... So do I get their armor? Do I get their weapon? As as the words are fed from a reason, so the dialect would be very depending on the career. Yeah, I'll mark Platinum 100%. That's my point, though, is like, the superpower would be that if someone spoke to me, I'd match their dialect. Like, of course, right? like that's, that's, that's why it's a superpower, right? <laughs> it doesn't make sense. <clears throat> Japanese is tough for English speakers because Japanese has like three different uh, ways of speaking. You have like formal Japanese, you have the way that, I, like, you have cordial Japanese and you have the, the ways you address people. And also the way that, like, most Eastern languages are harder for Western English speakers to understand because their, their, their tongue does not pronounce certain, certain, uh, Nuance. There's a lot of nuance. A lot of nuance to like Mandarin, traditional and simplified ch uh, Chinese, Japanese too, because Japanese has got your formal addressings and stuff like that. <clears throat> yeah, like you might be able to learn Eastern languages, but you'll never be able to learn calligraphy for them because it takes years to do it. You might be able to learn to read it, but doing the actual calligraphy for it is like Kanji for Japanese. I can't remember Chinese and Korean characters and Vietnamese characters. They all look different. They all have a different kind of like if there are uh, commas and semicolons, it's not one language over the other. <clears throat> <clears throat> like when people see Dong Zhuo, it's Dong Zhuo. Like I would have not been able to learn how to speak that unless an actual Chinese speaker taught me how to say it. <clears throat> <clears throat> Jesus Christ, man. <clears throat> Fuck. Allergies are cool. Or cow cow is not sow sow, it's sow sow. Just like soon, it's it's not sun, 
It's soon, soon to, soon sir. Like getting that in the back of your throat, sorma yi, stuff like that. I I mean I only know very very few words because I had to say it for Three Kingdoms tutorials that were in the game. That was my contract with them, and Rob can attest to me just cussing the whole time doing it. Um. Uh, like sun, sun C is soon sir. Soon sir, I think it's, it's sir, sir. Yeah, Rob would just be listening to me. I'm like, I fucking hate this fucking language. I can't fucking say it. I'm fucking stupid. Like I was so mad because <laughs> I had to match up what I said to the to the uh, to the actual simplified and traditional Chinese. Uh, uh, battle prep. Do I have a different? I just have the Chilin. Yeah, fucking Chilin is the best, though. I don't give a shit about anything else. It's just like the uh, <clears throat> the Fox in Neo. It's like I didn't use anything else. Fox was awesome. Uh, and deliveries, I'm good. Okay. So we're gonna go ahead and close our stream out for the day because I'm gonna eat some lunch. But let's get a good raid going. Twitch.tv. I don't know where we got today on viewers. Probably nowhere near my my average I had to get to, but I don't really give a shit. Wanted to have fun. Wanted to play the game. Thank you, Rob, for telling me to play. We got a, a lot of uh, really awesome subs today, so thank you so, so, so much, guys. I'm going to toss you guys over, on over to Ivana because she's playing this game. Um, I figure that's a, a fair thing to do. Pick a somewhere great support. Yeah, I'm going to just take it back to Ivana. Ivana's, Ivana's great. And like I said, she's playing this game and she's really good at it. Like, she played a ton of Neo. <clears throat> um, so I figured it's a really good one to toss you to. It just, it just keeps you in the, in the realm of, uh, of this game if you wanted to keep watching it and learn more about it. But we'll be back on Sunday with another stream. I don't know if we're going to play Warhammer 3 or more of this. I have to see how the Wolong Long video kind of picks up over the weekend. Um, the the viewer the viewage on it has been absolutely terrible on my channel so that tells me that i just can't i am probably not having luck taking bites out of the market share for this because like i said most people already have their channel for this type of content um like i've got 800 views and that's super low super 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 low for me so um i just kind of have to unfortunately Take that one on the on the cheek because I don't cover that type of content. But kind of like the the mystery of YouTube is like when you don't cover content and it t you take a hit doing it, you just kind of have to take the hit and then you jump into it. But all right, guys, I'll be back here on Sunday. Can a huge shout out to you, man! Thank you so much for all of those community subs you gave out, and to all the community subs that were given out through the stream and all the brand new subs. Thank you guys for joining. Thank you so much. Have a good one. Take care. Wash your hands. Stay safe. And raid is going.